Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to the Juvia Place YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sophia Kelly, here with you today, also known as Sophia305 on Instagram. In today's video, we are going to be going in depth on how to slay blue eyeshadow on deeper skin. Before we dive into eyes, I quickly wanted to run through my complexion recipe. So let's go ahead and do that and move on to eyes. For foundation today, I will be using the I Am Magic foundation in the shade 240, which is Lagos. When I tell you she is full coverage, people, she doesn't play any games. To conceal and brighten, I will be using the I Am Magic concealer in the shade 16. A little goes a long way. To go ahead and add some shadows to the face and kind of contour, I will be taking the I Am Magic concealer in the shade 3. So now that we are done with the complexion, everything looks really great. It's time to do eyes! So I took the liberty of doing one eye off camera already and this is what we have! You guys, I am so excited to show you how to slay the blue eyeshadow game. Are you guys ready? Let's go, come on, bring it in, get on close. Hey, this is kind of close, huh? Listen, before we get started, I did want to apologize in advance for me mispronouncing a few of the shade names. They're so beautiful and unfortunately, I don't know how to pronounce all of them. With that being said, our first shade is Côte de Levoix, I hope. So I'm taking Côte de Levoix in my crease region and this is gonna serve as my transition shade. This shade is a beautiful royal blue and can be found in the Afrique palette. I like to first really pat my shade on before I go ahead and blend things out. But as you can see, these shades are truly so pigmented, you guys. I didn't use a white base or anything. Actually, the concealer shade I used is my shade, so this pigment is really speaking for itself here. Now that there's less product on my brush, I am going to softly just blend out that edge. The next shade I'm taking is Gola. Gola is this lovely sky blue shade, and this shade can be found in the Warrior 3 palette. I'm using Gola right on the outer edge of that transition shade. I'm also taking that beautiful royal blue shade, Côte de Lavoir, underneath my lower lashes. And don't forget to connect this space right here. To add some depth, we're taking the shade Yajide from the Magic Palette. I'm using this shade to create even more depth in the crease region. This is a beautiful navy blue shade, and this is gonna give that contrast for when we cut our crease. Staying in the same shade, I'm also gonna run that along my lower lash line to further intensify things down here. We're at a point where this look could go one way or the other. Now you may be looking at this cut crease and saying, um, sis, I don't know, I am not at that level yet, but you could simply just take this navy blue all the way down and boom, you got a navy blue smoky eye. But we're gonna cut this crease. All right, so now that we have cut this crease, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Gola. Gola is this gorgeous sky blue shade. The same one that we used to soften up the transition is what we're placing in the inner corner of our cut crease. Next, I'll be taking the shade Congo. I'm placing the shade Congo right at the end of our cut crease. Now, Congo is this beautiful sky blue shade as well. It has purple reflex, and this shade is also found in the Warrior 3 palette. For an inner corner highlight, I will be taking the shade Karama. I'm placing this in the inner corner to go ahead and highlight, and this is gonna be like an iridescent periwinkle blue. This kind of opens up the eye and just gives it a nice little pop. I'm also taking the shade Congo along my lower lash line in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna place Congo right next to Karama. Who knew blue eyeshadow could look so good? I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the eyes with like mascara and lashes and I'll be back so we can complete the rest of this face. So to finish up the rest of this face, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1, the OG right here. We're gonna take blush and I'm taking the shade Toby right here. Toby is this beautiful orange. I love orange coral shades and we are gonna bring the life back. Put some color back into the face. I'm gonna smile and place this on the apples of my cheek. Oh my god. The shade always just hits so right like hi. Toby's on my cheek. 
Honestly, I was not a fan of blush until I found the right blush and I'm like, my look is not complete without blush now. Staying in the same palette, because we are here already, I will be taking the shade Lila to go ahead and highlight. It is that time. Placing Lila on the highest point of our cheekbones and mm, she's not here to play any games with us today. Listen, my cheeks though? Oh my gosh. I honestly can't get over how good everything is looking right now. Like this. What? Wow. Here is the completed look. And might I say it looks divine. I had a lot of fun showing you guys how to make blue eyeshadow look great on deeper skin. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, my name is Safai Kelly here on YouTube, aka Safai35 on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, tribe.